day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to discuss Laws of Exponent, Power of a Quotient Rule. How do we use Power of a Quotient Rule? So, Power of a Quotient Rule is a combination of Power Rule and Quotient Rule. So, dito, makikita nyo, we are going to use the Operation Division. Okay, kung kanina we use or in our previous video, we use multiplication, dito naman, division naman. Okay, so take note, the operation present in a given group must be division. Kung addition or subtraction, we cannot apply the power of a quotient. So, ang gagawin nyo lang dito is we're going to just distribute the exponent to each variable inside the group. So, ganun lang gagawin natin. So, let's have an example. An example. For example, we have x raised to 2 over y and they are all raised to, let's say, 4. So, for power of a quotient rule, dapat yung operation between the two variable, okay, is division. Okay? So, ang gagawin nyo lang dito is we're going to distribute the exponent of this group to each variable to simplify this. Now, since si y wala siyang um, exponent, we can place 1 here. Okay, take note, lahat ng variable, lahat ng numbers, merong exponent na 1. So, ang gagawin lang natin is we are going to distribute 4 to each variable, both numerator and denominator. So, simplify na natin. We copy all the bases present sa numerator and sa denominator. Okay? Now, we are going to multiply the exponent. So, we have 2 times 4 and we have 1 times 4. Now, to simplify this, we have x raised to 8 over y raised to 4. And that will be your final answer. Another example. For example, we have a raised to 8 over b raised to 5. And they are all raised to an exponent of 3. Yeah. So, simplify natin. Okay, we are going to use power of a quotient rule. So, gagawin lang natin. We are going to distribute 3 to each variable sa numerator at sa denominator. Okay, lahat. Lahat ng nasa loob ng grouping symbol. Okay, so we will copy all the bases. We have A. Okay, we have 8 times 3 all over B raised to 5 times 3. Then, to simplify this, our final answer will be A raised to 24 all over B raised to 15. And that will be our final answer. Another example, damihan natin yung variable. Let's say we have A raised to 2, B raised to 3, all over C raised to 4. And they are all raised to 6. Ayan. Okay. So, this one, in this case, we're going to apply two laws or two rules. Diba diniscuss ko yung power of a quotient and power of a product? So, take note, sa numerator, we have two, two variables. So, ang gagawin natin dito, we will still apply the power of a product and power of a quotient. Why? Because the operation present in this expression is multiplication, multiplication, and division. So, dito, again, we are going to just distribute the exponent 6 to all the exponent present in that group. So, imo multiply lang natin. So, we will have A raised to 2 times 6, B raised to 3 times 6, all over C raised to 4 times 6. And we simplify, we will have A raised to 12, B raised to 18, and C raised to 24. And that will be our final answer. Um, that's how you simplify using 
power of a quotient rule. So, ang kailangan lang natin gawin is to distribute the exponent to all the variable present in that um, group. But please take note, again, the operation present inside the group must be multiplication or division lang in order for you to apply the power rule the power of a quotient and power of a product. Kaya siya tinawag na power of a product kasi for multiplication siya and power of a quotient para sa division. Pero wala tayong na-encounter na power of the sum, power of the difference kasi walang ganun. Okay? Now it's your turn to try this. Okay. Practice exercise. Please simplify the following expression. So I'm giving you the time for you to practice the skills that you learned from this video. So, if you need more time, please take um, please pause the video and try to answer on your own. Ayan. Okay. So, if you're done answering, please check your answers. Ito ang ating answer key. Ayan. So, I hope you got the correct answer. Please double check. Make sure na tama yung pag-multiply ninyo at pag-simplify. Um, Ayan. So, that's it for today. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video.